Sports 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 today. I am vlogging. It's my birthday party. We got uh, a mean vlogger. You know who that is? That's Chris. Hello. Matthew's up, up there, and we got a lot of other people here. Hello. Uh, uh John, uh, uh, and yeah, I, I don't think you really know. That's another oh, John. That's um, there's a lot of people here. Today we are going to Citizens Bank Park for a Citizens Bank Park tour, and this is, and I think this is gonna be low. I think this is gonna be too nuts because there are nine boys here, and I think I think I think the tour guide's gonna have a pretty hard time making this tour. Hey. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my god. Why are there tailgaters? The Flyers don't even play at home tonight. The Flyers don't play today. Yeah, they do. They play the same for Oh. And the Sixers play tonight. So they're all well, they're quick. Um, the Sixers are playing Golden State. Yeah, I know. They're quick tailgaters. Sheesh. Even the. Um, wow. Um. Yeah, this, this is cool, and now there is Citizens Bank Park. We'll see you guys inside Citizens Bank Park. There's the Philly Fanatic. We are inside the clubhouse store. We are here at Citizens Bank Park. We are here. I think you're allowed to do that. Hi! We are the only people here. Oh, well, sort of. Philly Fanatic. Some jerseys. Um, lots of people. This is me. And, uh, here, here. painting. Here. Finger painting. <laughs> Film it. Film it by putting it in its snout. Like, yeah, put it in its snout. It's like, then it'll turn over the around so it shines on me. Picture, there are some pictures. Go on, I have some pictures back here. Where's my brother? And there's a nice. This is cool. Two no hitters in one season. Uh, you've probably heard a lot about in the news the last couple of weeks. Uh, back uh, May 29th of 2010 when he threw a perfect game against Miami and then in the playoffs that year against Cincinnati, uh, he threw a no-hitter. The difference being, right, for the perfect game, nobody gets on base, nobody gets a hit, a walk, an error, nothing. A no-hitter, it might be a walk or an error or a hit by a batter. Uh, nobody gets a hit, it's still a no-hitter. So he did that twice. He became only the fifth player to do that. In the history, Max Scherzer did it a couple of years ago, so now there's six of them. But what they did was they took Roy's hand. Head over right there. That's how we used to get into the ball games, right? That was in Connie Mac Stadium. Connie Mac Stadium. Old. Doesn't work anymore, though. It's it. You don't even know who the Philadelphia Athletics were. I do. 
lot of people don't realize for over old, 50 years, Philadelphia had two major leagues called the right there. The layout of Citizens Matthew, Bank Park. Matthew and John are on the other side. And this is where and, we entered. Uh, this is where we came in, like right over there. Look how old this, look how old like that grass looks. And now look at it now, it's like new. <laughs> Okay. I'm not, I actually want to bring him to court. Please press box. You are not allowed to sit. Let me go down to the lower level. Telephone. Press box. Press box over there. Other people over there. Great there are about 125 seats up here, okay? Broken into three different uh, levels. A little bit of a pecking uh, That gentleman has a seat over there, so when you're watching. But last year, we added John Crook. Matt Stairs was an announcer. He went down to the uh, dugout as hitting coach. Now, Matt's moved on to San Diego. But we picked up John Crook last year. Post games with the managers. This is where they do the post games, right. And where Cole Hamels stood right there, being very Got it. emotional with Roy yeah. Holiday. Fanatics locker room right there. Fanatics locker room. Batting cages. Yep, these are the batting cages. Right here. It's cool. Hey. Now inside the clubhouse. You're now inside the clubhouse. Not many people get to get in here, okay? If you're in the press or you're one of the players. <laughs> When you look around here, you see, you see all the lockers, there's 40 to come, I'm sure. That's, uh, it's Miguel Franco's discussion. Are those boxes, John? You see here, the oval shape here. Now going on to the field. Come on in, have a seat, But well, right now we're in the dugout. Oh my gosh. Okay. So this is where the Phillies, oh this gosh. is their home dugout, okay? This is where they sit. Where you guys are sitting up front here, a lot of times, more often than not, you'll find a lot of the starting pitchers who aren't playing that day. Uh, I don't know if you notice in the locker room, but a lot of the pitchers' lockers are close together. They kind of hang, just like you have your groups and friends that hang out. Pitchers tend to do that too. And the starting pitchers, they tend to do it on these top uh, two uh, benches here when the game's going on. If you remember Cole Hamels. He's now on the field. Thanks. On we get birds in there sometimes. The field. This is insane. Hey, just kind of stay over this way. There's, there's this. There's the board with the sponsors. Totally. They're redoing it and it's starting to rain. Over this way, guys. She's not good. There's the wires. That it looks like they're working on. I'm going to touch it. See the brick wall where the brick wall starts to the brick wall ending? Yeah, they're all the Diamond Club feet. We're going to go inside the Diamond Club now. This is insane. Here, you want to get the Diamond Club, the kids only section. No, right around the circle. Red, red circle. Red circle. No, not this one. Okay? It's small. Mm -hmm. it's that thing. Mm -hmm. I have to go on this big circle. Place is really alive before the game. Uh, there are about 1,300 seats, 1,280, I think, to be exact, uh, out there in the Diamond Club. And they're broken into three different levels. The first three rows, and there's no row four. And then there's five through nine, and ten through nineteen. The first three rows, <coughs> average ticket there, and once again, full season back to 81 games. Averages around 200 plus, maybe up to 250 or so dollars per seat per game. Um, what do you get for that? Well, from the moment you walk in here, from the moment you leave, you get all the food you want, you get all the beverage you want, and you get weight staff to wait on you out there. You don't have to you're get your own food. You take your order right there and put it back. Um, the other rows, uh, five through nine, they get a thirty dollar voucher. They can use it here for food or beverage. Now leaving Citizens Bank Park, sadly. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like if you like it, subscribe if you love it. Cheers, so I get more subscribers. And yeah, um.
This I tour was really fun. There's Jason. We this tour was really fun. We got a couple stuff from Citizens Bank Park that you will see in my next video. And here's something. Here's something right now, right there. And then there are coins that I can't show you because I can't throw my thing around. So yeah, I'll show you some stuff that I got in the next video. And yeah, peace on the streets, son. See ya.